symmetry, and line of symmetry. Tomorrow is Mother's Day, and Sarah wants to make a heart-shaped postcard for her mom. She tries to cut a heart out of a square paper, but she ends up with a shape like this. Uh-oh, that doesn't look that good. Let's help Sarah make a perfect heart-shaped card out of this paper. First, we fold the piece of paper in half. Then, using a pencil, we draw the outline of half of a heart, like this. Finally, we cut along the penciled outline. Now, if we separate the pieces we just cut and unfold the paper, we will get a nice, perfect heart. Sarah's mom is going to love it for sure. This heart shape is an example of symmetrical shapes. We call a shape symmetrical if it can be divided into two identical halves. And we call the line that divides a figure into two matching parts the line of symmetry. Let's take another example. Look at this shape. It is also symmetrical. As you can see, we can fold it like this to get two identical halves. And here's the line of symmetry that splits our shape into these identical parts. In this lesson, you learn the characteristics of symmetrical shapes and lines of symmetry.